This thing's burning already. My, when I'm breathing, it's definitely getting hotter. I can bring some milk and uh, Tums over. <laughs> hey there, everybody. This is Kayla with an episode of Sauce for Pass, a quick rundown of the rules. Each player has a plate of chicken tenders supplied by our friends at Superfood in a heaping serving, the hot ones, and LA King's new hot sauce and ending on some of Hot One's spicier sauces as well. So here's how the game is played. We are going to ask the players a few questions. After each player answers, I will choose who gave the spiciest answer, and the player who gave the less spicy answer will have to take a bite of hot sauce. If a player doesn't want to answer, they can take a bite of sauce and pass the question. The player who gave the best answer at the end wins today's game. Today, I am joined by Kings goalie, Cal Peterson, and his teammate, left winger, Alex Iafalo. Are you guys ready? Yes, so. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win today between you two? We've been talking about it a lot. We're pretty, uh, we're pretty nervous. So I don't know. I grew up on my dad's wing, so I think uh, we'll see how this one, uh, see how the hot one goes. I guess. I mean, I like, I like hot sauce. I like spicy foods, but usually wings are uh, not something that I really like the spiciness of. But I think uh, Al has the. A little bit of an advantage being from Buffalo, so we'll see if that pays off. We got those Buffalo wings, so. That's true, you guys do have the Buffalo wings. All right, we're gonna start today's round with Alex. Which teammate would be most likely able to survive on an island alone? I'm gonna take a little dab of the uh, classic hot sauce here, LA. Hey, okay. he's going right into the hot sauce. Now the question then goes to you. <sighs> I would say uh, probably probably Alex. He's uh, kind of an outdoorsman, pretty resourceful. Um, I think he'd actually uh, I think he'd actually enjoy it. That would probably be how he wants to spend the rest of his life anyway. So I'm sure he'd take it head on and be fine. How's it going over there? Is the spice kicking in yet? Uh, a little bit, not too bad. Okay. I think it's, it, it's just right though. Heat with heart. <laughs> All right, Cal, since you answered the question, you win round one. Oh, that's how <laughs> Yeah, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to question number two. Which teammate would be the funniest to see appear on a reality dating show? Cal, we're going to throw it back to you for this one first. Reality dating show. Um, I think maybe uh, Austin Wagner. <laughs> it would be it would be pretty funny to see all the things that he would try and come up with to uh, to uh, cancel out some of his awkwardness with girls. So it would uh, it'd be pretty uh, pretty funny. Alex, I'd love to see a lot of the boys on there. It'd be pretty uh, pretty jokes, but I'd probably go with uh, Gabe Velarde. You know, see what the see what the young guys got, what they got to offer. He's a funny guy. So let's see who had the less spicy. Wags and Gabe. Hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Gabe. So Alex, you have the less spicy answer. You take a bite of hot sauce. All right. I'm gonna go for the uh, the hottest one in the bunch here. Oh my gosh! Diving right in. Already. Last, last dab. Already. Yeah. You're not gonna taste the rest of the spices. We have a few more questions. You can't tap out yet. Got a pretty good amount on there. Oh no. <laughs> are you going? Are you going chicken fingers, or are you doing the wing, the drummies? This thing's burning already. I'm so nervous <laughs> for you. My, when I'm breathing, it's definitely getting hotter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just breathing fire soon. Are you guys ready for the next question? Let's go. Let's get it going. Let's it. go. Um, Alex, back to you for this one. Name the most famous person in your phone. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Sounds like he's dying. I'm panting a little bit. I think I put a little too much on there. <laughs> I think you put a lot. That was quite a bit of hot sauce. Cal, your turn. Name the most famous person in your phone. I would probably say uh, Carl, Carl Anthony Towns. Golfed with him a few times this summer. and I saved his contact, but there's no way that he saved mine, so <laughs> I think that just might be a one-way street. You should give him a call right now. See if he would answer. Get him on. Do it. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to say. I, I would just panic, too. 
Okay, so it looks like Cal wins this round as well. It's just too easy. I haven't even I haven't even had a hot one yet. Are, we, have to get you, we have to get you eating the sauce. Okay, next question. Here we go. Cal, back to you. Tell us about the worst date you've ever been on. Uh, <laughs> worst date I've ever been on. I think I think I'm gonna pass. I'll pass this one to to Al. Okay, he's gonna pass. That means you take a bite of sauce. I'll go. Um, I'll go the middle one here. Los Calientes. Good choice. See how that goes. Awesome. Smells a little, ooh. It smells like salsa. Okay. Is this, is this the mild one? Oh, this is medium. I think I got way too much, but we'll see. Even better. I just smelled it and I was starting to sweat again. Oh no. It's hot on my tongue, but it's pretty good. Okay, he likes it. I don't feel like it's making my tongue swell up a little bit though. I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you all have plenty of water nearby. Alex, yeah. I don't think you're getting out of this question. It's your turn. Name, uh, or tell us about the worst date you've been on. Worst date I've been on? I might just have to take, <laughs> take another last dab here. Oh, he's going to take a bite of sauce. Have you, an have you answered a question yet? These are tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> I, can bring, I can bring some milk and uh, Tums over after this. Uh, I'm gonna go with the classic over here. Going with the classic, okay. Yeah, I, I need some I need some questions that I can answer. Well, <clears throat> I think these have been good questions. We just need to get an answer out of you. Alex, we'll go back to you. If you had a choice between being invisible or flying, which would you choose? Got to answer this one. Probably flying. That would be my answer too. Good choice. I like that. Pretty much go anywhere you want, I guess. Cal, are you invisible or are you flying? I'm flying too. I think that would be uh, that'd be awesome. And uh, invisible, invisible is kind of that's kind of a combo. You can be there but be invisible too. Oh, so, same answer. I don't know which one's spicy. So <laughs> both lose. <laughs> both lose or both take a bite. I'll take another bite since I've only had one. There we go. What is it? I, I skipped lunch at the rink for this, so. I'm gonna try the classic too. Alex, which ones have you tried again? Walk us through what you've tried. I've tried the new LA Kings classic hot sauce. And how did we like it? I think that was the best one so far. Gravy reviews. I'm having a great time right now. <laughs> this Cal's is great. I've gotten, I've gotten multiple dabs so far. Free wings, free hot sauce. How can it go wrong? I'm having a blast. All right, are you guys ready for the final question? Yeah. We're already at the end. Time flies when you're having fun and eating chicken wings. Um, Cal, we'll go to you. Which fictional character do you identify with the most and why? It can be a movie, a book, a cartoon, anything that you want. Damn, that's hard. I know, <laughs> that is tough. <laughs> There's so many <laughs> There's so many options. I'm trying to think of like every movie that like has like a sick actor in it or something like that. Probably like Brad Pitt. Oh yeah. And, and Once Upon a <laughs> Time in Hollywood. Just a just a just a rugged stunt man. Cal's going Brad Pitt and Once Upon a Time. Love that answer. Alex? I don't know. I feel like I like I'd like to be uh from the office. Probably Jim or uh Obviously, Steve Carell. I don't know. That'd be fun just to mess around all day. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Look around with all the, uh, you know, all the workers and have fun. That's a good answer. That's I mean, a good answer. Yes. Who are you choosing between Michael Scott and Jim? Probably Michael Scott. He's oh pretty my reckless. God. These are literally two of my favorite people. I, I, I don't know if I can choose. I don't know the spicier answer. How come you're not having any hot sauce? <laughs> I don't have any chicken. I see some on the nightstand, yeah. I do have the key hot sauce here. Just wake up and have some hot sauce. Spiciest answer here is going to be for me, um, Michael Scott. 
Cal, that means you eat the hot sauce. All right. I'm, I'm going to go the super spicy one. I might join you on the last one too, bud. Team I'll join. Fire, look at that. Kind of bat battle okay. through together. Here we go. Yeah. Cheers, bud. <laughs> Nice. What a great way to wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, this one goes straight to the tongue. Clears the sinuses. That's when you know it's hot. That's like I ate a smelling salt. Uh, ah. Busting out the milk. Oh my gosh. How long you had that in the fridge? <laughs> <laughs> We're still good. It's almond milk. That doesn't expire. All right, guys, you finished the questions. How are you both feeling? Pretty good besides we're taking a loss here. I don't know. <laughs> yes, you, you unfortunately <laughs> did not win. Congratulations, Ooh. Cal. Well oh, worth it. Be sure to check out the whole Hot Ones and LA Kings merch line available now at Team LA. Thank you both for your time today and eating all the hot sauces. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you.